Saab and Brazil have collaborated closely on the Gripen fighter jet, a partnership that's representative of the wider relationship between Sweden and Brazil. But why are these partnerships so successful? What benefits do they bring? And what does this mean for the wider region? Something everyone agrees on is that the foundation for all of these successes is the adaptability of the Gripen, plus the close nature of the collaboration and enthusiasm from both sides. In Brazil, we say that it's the verde e na Suécia eu fui no inverno era o mar branco então realmente bastante diferente mas o Gripen é um um aeronave um, um projeto que foi projetado para realmente operar em todos os ambientes então ele tem se adaptado muito bem ao clima brasileiro It's been a great success here Brazilian Air Force are the first uh, operator of the Gripen E they have introduced it now over the years and they had their exam now at Crucex where it was a great success, training together with many other aircraft from the US, South America. I think really we have a good, solid uh, cooperation with, uh, with Brazil. It's a good, solid partnership. We will look to evolve that, and we are already doing that as we had the first step with the purchase of Gripen by Brazil, but now a second step with the purchase by Sweden for the C390. The close collaboration between Sweden and Brazil can lead to stronger benefits for both countries and for the wider region. When we are, are delivering more and more aircraft to the Brazilian Air Force, we will see a lot of more deepening cooperation, both in the, in the business area and the uh, armed forces area. The deal here in Brazil has, of course, uh, inspired to look into the Gripen, for example, from Colombia and Peru. And we are in uh, final stages in both Colombia and Peru, actually, and we're looking forward to the sort of last phases of the procurement in both Colombia and Peru. And we expect contracts actually this year in both countries. So Brazil is is been pivotal not only to to help those campaigns, but is a place where we can discuss some potential uh, assembly of of products depending on the customer interest. But it's it's a place that can tends to be the central hub of Saab operations in Latin America. But there are more Swedish companies than Saab using Brazil as a hub for their regional operations. Brazil is being an uh, economic powerhouse for the region and uh, is likely to always keep that role because of its size but also its developed economy and a very diverse economy as well as it has. So we do see that many of the Swedish larger corporates have their head offices in Brazil covering it uh, from Brazil. You need also a local presence in the other markets to be successful. Brazil is very much a hub for the Swedish companies in Latin America. A lot of the Latin American headquarters are located in Sao Paulo, for instance. So it's a part of the footprint that Sweden has in Latin America really emanates from, from Brazil. You can see that companies have been here for such a long time. We have a couple of companies like Ericsson, like SKF that have been here over 100 years. So it's a very long-term commitment on the Swedish side and then on the side of Swedish companies when it comes to Brazil. It's not just about business relationships. It's also about practical lessons that can be shared from both sides. É realmente é uma responsabilidade grande pela primeira vez a Saab está introduzindo um novo sistema em outro país a 10 mil quilômetros de distância e pela primeira vez o primeiro usuário não é a Força Aérea Sueca, é a Força Aérea Brasileira. Isso nos dá é, uma certa autonomia, mas realmente hoje eu diria que a gente está ensinando a Força Aérea Sueca a operar o, o Gripen Air. They have started and they have flown more than 1,000 hours already with the aircraft, so they have uh, really learned the new system. So, of course, we expect a Swedish Air Force coming here and looking into how they have introduced the system and learning from that. I hope that we will look into the future together with Fab and Embraer, with, between the, uh, Saab and the, the Swedish MOD and FOV as well, to look into the next generation of combat aircraft, both manned and unmanned, because both Saab and Embraer has the technology and both Sweden and Brasilia are definitely one of those, uh, those countries that can develop that technology. And as Anna Paula summarizes, this way of working leads towards one shared goal. Saab is a Brazilian company with Swedish DNA. That's the perception here. And uh, we feel incredibly proud to be in a position to explore and to leverage those relationships to do what we are here to do, to make people and society safe.